Safety Radio System Upgrade, Mr. Ty, and I'll ask and Mr. Uh, Weeks, Danny, to come up and, and help me with this. Um, as part of our when our SPLOS projects were um, outlined, one of the projects was an upgrade to our public radio safety radio system, which is basically what all the um, public safety agencies, fire, EMS, law enforcement, as well as some public works uh, engineer and EMA. <coughs> Basically, all the users on our radio system um, use that public safety radio system. And so it, it's kind of reached the end of life, and some of the specifics of the system Danny can, can speak to. Um, but, but as the uh, chairman of the 911 advisory board, um, I, was in, I, I became involved, and so we kind of set up a working group. It was myself, Danny, um, his systems manager, Sheila Hayner, and then Brian Childress, uh, the chief of police from Valdosta, was a representative from the city. We got together, met with Motorola representatives, got them to provide us with a proposal, um, discuss what our needs were, what our future needs would be, and um, and basically, so the the they provided us with a proposal. Um, <clears throat> the proposal itself um, came in actually uh, a little lower than than what we had originally um, planned for in our budget. It, in your <coughs> came in at um, six million. Um, Five hundred and sixty-seven thousand um, dollars. <throat> that amount is to be is paid for out of SPLOS funds, but it's to be split equally between Lowndes County and the City of Alasta. And again, that will provide um, <clears throat> provide us with with the necessary upgrades so that our our system can kind of be refreshed and be usable uh, well into the future. Um, as part of the, the proposal they provided. They did offer some some very nice financing options. So, our first while if this agreement is approved, they'll begin immediately ordering equipment, and we hope to in a six to nine month time frame actually have the, the upgraded system up and operating and be be operating on the upgraded system. Our first payment on the system will not be, uh, we won't have to expend any funds until actually September of 2016, and then they're split it up into three equal payments at that point. So, um, pretty good. Finance an option there, and uh, as far as the specifics of the system and what we're getting and that kind of stuff, I'll kind of defer and let Danny kind of speak to you on that. Good morning. Um, one of the advantages of doing what we're doing is we're able to reuse about 1,200 of the subscriber units of radios, portable radios, mobile radios that are already um, in use today. Uh, we'll be able to do a software upgrade and continue using those. Uh, big advantage right now is this will be moving us into a newer platform. Uh, it's going to provide some enhancements to the system. We will eliminate several uh, single points of failure with the existing system that we have now. Um, <clears throat> it will also expand the capacity on our system. Not immediately, but as we replace the subscriber units, it has the potential to actually double the capacity on our system now because of the change in technology. It's definitely time to do this. The system that we have now, although still supported, is reaching uh, a critical stage that we're beginning to have difficulty finding some of the spare parts and um, becoming more of a challenge to do that now. But I'll be glad to answer any further questions that you might have. Sure. Any questions for Mr. Ty or Mr. Weeks? Danny, will this, this tie-in, SO, Fire Department, City, City Fire Department, <coughs> GSP, VSU, will everybody be in the mix on this? We currently, uh, to answer your question, yes. Now, we don't actually uh, dispatch for GSP, but they do have access to be able to get on our system for a mutual aid type situation, as does the uh, college. <coughs> but they still have their own dispatchers. We cover all public safety for Lowndes County and Eccles County. Eccles. We don't have to dispatch for the state agency. I just knew there was some. Several years back, there were some communication issues between some of the platforms, and I just didn't know. I wanted to make sure this new technology would put everybody where they could easily communicate. Yes, sir. We do have uh, what we refer to as packet channels now, and uh, all public safety agencies in our area have access to those. And anytime we have a uh, multi agency response, we assign those pack channels, and that way everybody on scene can go to one place and be able to communicate with each other. Thank you. Great. Good job. Any other questions? My question is uh, to the county manager uh, r regarding uh, the uh, public safety radios. Just a county, uh, I guess, observation. Uh, on the budget impact, we got 
Um, by this being a joint event, uh, and the city's supposed to be paying half, should it be three million, based on half mm -hmm. our budget impact? Should well, the, that? Yeah. technically, you, you're probably correct. The way this will work, and, and I was going to point this out, um, the benefit of this um, proposed um, purchase, lease purchase option, is that it be completed by the end of this month. Obviously, that falls with the quarterly. Um, earnings for Motorola, so that's there's some incentive for them to do that. As uh, in addition to that, we have documentation that the attorneys have been working on, attorneys from Motorola as well as our attorneys, all last week up to Saturday, even trying to wordsmith and finish and complete all the documentation necessary to present to you tomorrow afternoon. Included in that is a an amendment to the existing memorandum of understanding between the city of Valdosta and Lowndes County, which will specify the method of payment for this. And as a result, Lowndes County uh, will be the named leasee or purchaser, and the city of Valdosta will make their portion of payment to Lowndes County enabling Lowndes County then to make the full payment, including our portion as well as their portion. So that's the reason you have the full amount there. But technically you're correct. Okay, so basically, basically you're saying um, we're going to pay for it together, uh, but as far as paperwork-wise, you want it to say that we're, we're the sole lease? Um, yeah, the, from a standpoint of Motorola or any entity such as that, it's not uh, possible for them to put the lease purchase in the name of both entities. You, mm -hmm. So it needs to be in the name of one. Lowndes County is the named license holder uh, for FCC. We have been the named um, purchaser in the previous equipment that was purchased in 2000, Danny. So this is a continuation of that where we are the primary um, agency listed on the documents, but it is equally owned by the city and by the county and equal payments are made. And basically the document that we're going to see to verify to for the chairman to sign will be, we'll get soon. Uh, You'll have that for tomorrow night. Yeah, that's that's I like to see that basically. Yeah, we're needing, we're needing to work through that process in order to meet uh, basically the uh, requirements, the timeline for Motorola for us to be able to get the financing. That's what that's what we're trying to work through. Okay, that's all. I just I just like to like to see it before we vote on it um, and everything. Okay, if there's no other questions, then we'll move on. We got one last question. Real quick. Uh, the other municipalities are they on our 911 system also, Danny? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, Bremerton, Hayhira, Lake Park, everybody's dispatched out the same. That is correct. Okay, just wanted to. Now, the, the lease purchase uh, contract, is that going to be here tomorrow as well? Yes, we have a copy of that uh, for your review here this uh, morning, uh, and we also will have the finalized documents from the attorney. Okay, because I, I try to, I like to look at it, basically. I, I just know we, we sometimes generally have the uh, contracts with us, if it's just a contract. I understand we're working through the mutual aid agreement. Those are two separate things, though, right? So. Any other questions? Okay, we'll move on to agenda item 